Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. Automatic bottle filling machines are most commonly used in the beverages and soft drinks industries. They are used in measuring the quantity of water, petrol, milk, drinks and any other liquid based on user input. In this project, we will build a water filling machine using flow sensor and Arduino. The user inputs the total quantity of liquid using a 4 cross 4 keypad. The pump draws the exact quantity of water after receiving the user input. When an exact quantity is fulfilled, the pump disconnects automatically and stops further drawing of liquid. The maximum amount of liquid is up to 1500 ml only. So let's see how we can build this entire system. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. To build this project, we need the following components. First, we need an Arduino Nano microcontroller board. Then we need a 16 cross 2 LCD display, a 10K potentiometer, then a 4 cross 4 keypad matrix, a Hall effect water flow sensor to measure liquid flow speed, a DC water pump draws water from a liquid source, a 5 volt single channel relay module. A zero PCB board for assembling all the components together. This is the schematic of the project designed using the Fritzing software. The circuit contains Arduino Nano board, water flow center, relay module, water pump, and LCD display. The YFS201 water flow center is used to measure water flow during the filling. The relay is the intermediate component between the Arduino board and the 5 volt DC water pump. It allows the Arduino board to control the water pump. Similarly, the 4 cross 4 matrix keypad is used to input the quantity of water that is to be dispersed. The LCD displays the flow rate and total volume of water. If you don't want to assemble the circuit on a zero PCB and you want PCB for the project, then here is the PCB for you. I used Easy EDA to draw the schematic first. Then I converted the schematic into a PCB. This is a 3D view of the PCB. I have added the cover file link in the description. You can download the PCB files and order the PCB from next PCB. For this video demo, I assembled the components into a zero PCB. I soldered all the necessary components here. This header is for the Arduino Nano. Then put a 16 cross 2 LCD display here. A 4 cross 4 keypad matrix here. This is the water flow sensor connected to the digital pin of Arduino. This is a 9 volt DC water pump, but I recommend you use a 5 volt DC water pump. I am using a 9 volt DC adapter to power the circuit. The pump needs to be immersed into a water source and the pump pipe is connected to the water flow sensor in order to measure flow rate and volume. Let's see the code now. I have used the keypad library and defined the number of rows and columns. Then this library is for LCD display and we defined the control pins for the LCD as well. The keypad characters in the form of the array are defined here. The row and column pins of the keypad are defined here. Then we assign some variables for the water flow center. 
other variables related to calibration factor, pulse count, millage function and other time variables are defined here. In the setup function, we initialize the input-output pin mode and LCD begin function. An interrupt related to the water flow sensor is also given. In the loop section, a condition for entering user input is assigned based on input from the user. Using some mathematical function and equation, the flow rate and total volume is calculated. The motor turns on and off based on user assigned values. You can go through the code in detail to learn more. After uploading the code, let's have a demo for this project. Initially, the LCD will display set volume. Then, we input the value from the keypad. Then, press the D button. The motor will start and start filling the bottle. The LCD displays the current water speed and filled volume. When the filling is done, the motor stops. Let's try another demo now by setting a different volume of liquid. Alright, that is all from the video part today. The complete project details including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.